I'm right here. If ever there was a definition of a military man, well, veteran Douglas Worrell of Innisfail, Alberta, is it. At 11 years of age, I served with the, uh, the Princess Louise Fusiliers, which was a machine gun outfit in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Continuing on from that early age to complete four more years in Army Cadets, one year in Air Cadets, one year in the Reserves, and on the 9th of September 1949, Douglas joined the Royal Canadian Corps of Signals. I did my training in Kingston, Ontario, and uh, then on the, actually it'd be March of 1951, uh, that uh, they asked, uh, well, they asked me if I would go to Korea, and uh, there, was, uh, there was 32 of us. We formed one communication base signals uh, for the communications for Japan and Korea. The Army wants young men physically fit, mentally alert, single or married, and just as many veterans of the Second World War as possible. A job that some might say wasn't exactly easy. The uh, Japanese that actually worked in the communications, uh, you weren't allowed to speak to them in English. You had to speak to them in Japanese. So really, I had to have be trained to be able to carry on a conversation in Japanese. Worrell's courage among 26,000 other Canadian soldiers, he believes, prevented what could have been another major chapter in history. The communists were taken over North Korea, and uh, this way here, they felt that the communists would go through South Korea. And this is where North Korea uh, didn't get along with South Korea, and then they, they ended up going to war over it. The problem was that the, uh, it was a stop of the communist uh, regime, and that's why if the, we wouldn't have had the Korean War, we would have ended up having World War III. And on the 27th of July, Korean War veterans honour those who didn't make it home. This year, a particularly special ceremony, having been 60 years since the ceasefire. Right across Canada, we uh, uh, end up going to the Cenotaph, lay in a reef, uh, uh, um, and uh, lay in a reef, to, and also what we do, what we call, is a double salute. We actually salute our, our fallen and departed comrades at facing the Cenotaph, and then we make a left turn facing on the same latitude and longitude a Busan, where we have our, our, our Commonwealth graveyard, and we make a salute to our, our 300, and I believe it's 379 that are, are buried there. We remember, in Red Deer, I'm Kyle Plansky.